good afternoon viewers welcome to the finals of the srinadi all india snooker open brought to you live by converter live from the premises of the three ball theory in hyderabad we just started the frame the finalists are saurav kothari and ishpreet singh Ishpreet Singh right now. He snookered. Sort of snookered. Not an easy safety shot for him. Viewers, uh, my name is Raj. I have with me my co-commentator Aditya. Say hi, Aditya. Hi, Raj. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the finals. first red ball of the finals spotted by Saurav Kothari as in landed himself in a very nice uh, position in terms of placements snookered himself on the pink and the black needs to go down Viewers, we had a very uh, a long and an exciting semi-final, the second semi-final, which ended at about 1.30 a.m. yesterday morning. Sorry, this morning, today morning, between uh, Saurav Kothari and uh, Aditya Mehta, who was a top-ranked player. Saurav won the semi-final four frames to three. I'm so sorry, five games to four. I said corrected, it's five games to three. Uh, Saurav Kothari beat Aditya Mehta, five frames to three. It was the best of nine match. And this match we're witnessing is a best of 11. These are very early days as far as this match is concerned. What do you say, Aditya? Yeah, sort of had a long match last night, and you know there was a mixed combination, a combination of safety and attacking. Right now, what we are seeing, you know, these players are actually trying to attack, trying to enjoy the longer format of the game finally. And since last night, I've been watching, uh, I've, been, I've been observing sort of. He's been getting his rest shots nicely, you know. It's obvious because he's just. Uh Spotted a nice red with the rest. <coughs> and that actually the reason why the match, uh, uh, the, se the finals got delayed just by a bit is because uh, the semi final went on for quite some time and we needed to give the players some rest, especially Saurav Kotari because he's just fresh out of uh, a very long and a tiring match. That's why we've just started the final. This is also going to proving to be a very, very interesting match between Saurav, who's basically coming from a very long heritage of uh, Q sports. His father, Manoj Kothari, was a world champion. And Ishpreet Singh, who has been playing from the age of 13, has uh, notched up quite a few laurels for himself. He's a lot younger than Saurav. But tremendous promise and tremendous talent. 
So I think we have a pretty evenly matched uh, competition today. What do you say, Aditya? Basically, it's young talent versus the experience right now. Uh, Ishpreet played a match against Lakshman Rabat and his approach spoke volumes. After the match, I was referring the match and Viraj and uh, I had a word with Ishpreet, you know, like he played a few couple of shots which were very gutsy, you know, very, very uh, risky. I asked him, what's the idea? Why are you doing this? He's like, I have now thought and I've worked on myself in the lockdown. It's got to be a do or die spirit on the game, on the table. We can we can see uh, Ishpreet, he's a tremendous spotter. Yeah, and absolutely. And definitely... Well, we can see it, you know. He's he's going he's going for the shots and he's going for the kill. I think Aditya's got a point. We need more players like Ishpreet to make the game more exciting and watchable on TV. These young players have been watching a lot of snooker on YouTube, you know, the professional level. And they have been watching the attacking, the, the, the scoring game from the prof professionals. And I believe they are trying to emulate the same right now. Will take some doing for sure. was uh, a blue that was spotted by Saurav and I think he's landed himself on a red to the right corner of bottom. I mean right right uh, the bottom right corner pocket. Not too sure whether that is there. No it's not. He's going for safety I think. S still undecided as to what uh, Red, he needs to go off to the buck. <coughs> At this level, safety is an art. It needs to be played very, very carefully, specifically with. We need to know where the white, you know, white should land. Saurav's left uh, Ishpit uh, just a couple of balls. I think Ishpit is going for the spot here. And basically, it's a shot for nothing. Oh no. He's got a unfortunate cannon. And it's stuck among the... This cue ball is stuck among the uh, reds. Possibly opening... A good opening for uh, Saurav. Yes, he seems to have one in the right middle. It's all about the jaw. Or in this case, jaws. Ishprit is an incredible potter. That's one of his mainstays of his uh, snooker game. And as I was mentioning, he really does not, uh, as my co-commentator Aditya was uh, mentioning, he doesn't think much before going for a pot. His confidence levels are incredible.
That's a lot of cube power, all right, and uh, quite nicely brought back. For a very interesting red free right corner. Oops, missed that. Now it's Soro back on the table. He seems to have a couple of options as far as uh, open reds are concerned. It's a black which is uh, not very comfortably placed right now. Pink is very much uh, open. Again, only to the left corner pocket. It's a solid pot. Gone down very nicely to the blue. Hopefully he's on the right side of the blue. Am I correct, Aditya? He's definitely on the right side of the blue. That's what happened with Ishpreet in the uh, previous visit. He had to force the white ball from the box. That, that made him go out of the position. This augurs well for uh, Saurav in terms of a very nice break because the balls are quite well spread. A little bit of maneuvering for the pink and the black, obviously. But the blue is free, so I think he will, to a large extent, uh, focus on the blue. He's done a, he's done a very good uh, stun pull for the pink. I think the pink is very much on. Once he pots the pink, the pink is back into its placement, which will help a lot. Unless something drastically goes wrong, he's got a clean um, 28 to 30 points available to be scored pretty easily. So far, so good. Now he's got two reds which are kind of open and one stuck behind the black. That's 
that's nicely played. Hopefully it's a hand shot. Makes life a lot more easier when it's a hand shot and not a shot 41. using the rest. Nicely done. It was a nice break by uh, Saurav Kotari. Has got himself a sizable lead in the first frame. Very nicely played by Ishpith to get a very nice snooker behind the yellow. just manages to nick the red and remove the snooker. Let's see what is with. a nice attempt tried to stick the white behind the black it has given uh, sort of easy access to this red behind the black is going for a Vertical Massey. That's beautifully played by Saurav Kothari. Comprehensively snookered is Ishprit. And very nicely removed by Ishprit again played but has left uh, Saurav with two open reds <coughs> Ishprit definitely requires snookers now provided of course uh, Saurav gives him an opportunity to come back to the table Saurav seems to have found his nick pretty early in this uh, match. This is, this is only the first frame, uh, viewers.
nice, uh, almost a nice clearance from Saurav, wrapping up the first frame. So, viewers, uh, we've done with the first frame. Saurav Kothari beats Ishpreet Singh by 93 points to 16. It's a very comprehensive win for the first frame, but it's still early days. Let's come back to you with the beginning of the second frame in just a bit. Welcome back, viewers. Uh, we are now underway second frame of uh, the finals of um, the Srinidhi All India Snooker Open being held at the Three Ball Theory. Live snooker courtesy converter live, which is commensurate with bringing best of Q sports 24 by 7. Preet just kind of spread the balls open a bit and still managed to play reasonably safe. He's sort of got a straight pot to the right corner, which I think he's going for. Kept it reasonably safe, though he's missed it. Ishpreet has a slightly tricky shot in terms of going for a pot. Though he does have a few pots uh, to the left corner, but I don't think he'll take that. I think he's pretty comfortable playing safe off this uh, rightest, rightmost ball, uh, red ball. Let's see, he wants to try and keep the white safe, ideally behind a color, the way. He's tried to. His shot is not as easy as, lo as it looks. The red ball is closer to the cushion. And we, the player usually think, you know, the ball is going to bounce back. But usually it bounces back more than normal because of the close distance towards the cushion. And that's the only reason Ishpeet has lost his handball and the handball manages to manage to come next to the green. Now this shot played by Saurav is more uh, closer to what is ideally required, closer to the cushion and uh, obstructed by the box colors, any of the box colors.
actually did go for a pot, but uh, just kept cue ball uncomfortably just ahead of the uh, ink. Sourav doesn't have a very easy safety shot unless he's going for uh, off the bunch here, which I think makes more sense. That is beautifully played by Saurav Kothari. And he's left Ishpreet just one red which is on the cushion. Not too sure whether that's on two. Saurav seems more relaxed and composed than what he played last night. I'm sure he has fucked himself up. You know, he has push himself after he must have reanalyzed his game after the victory Raditya and we can see the result right now yes absolutely I think um, and here Ishpreet tried playing um, the reverse off the red uh, shot which he's missed by a mile actually so it's going to be replaced re-spotted rather uh, Ishpreet needs to give it another attempt now this shot that he is attempting and he has attempted is not easy by any standards. Most people find it difficult to hit the red ball on the way up. This is actually on the way down, so it requires some serious practice. just barely missed the reds again. Saurav Kothari seems to be keeping Ishpreet on a very tight leash as far as uh, safety is concerned. He's really not giving Ishpreet much to play around with at all. In fact, he's um, given Ishpreet very few options to actually play safe or even forget about potting a ball. Saurav is aware of Ishpreet's capacity. We saw what he did to Lakshman yesterday in the quarterfinals. So I'm sure he's going to be using all his uh, strategies to keep Ishpreet under control. And that's an amazing safety attempt, safety shot by Ishpreet. He found a gap and he has managed to take the handball back into the box. 
एज वी से इन हिंदी गली गली की बात है After a very long time, Ishpreet is having a kind of open uh, table to play with. There are a couple of interesting pots, but uh, fraught with high risk, I'd say. I think uh, if I was Ishpreet, I would still play safe. We know Saurav is also in extremely good uh, form as far as potting is concerned. Sorry, I really didn't know what Ishpreet was trying to do there. I think he went for a pot which is quite uh, high risk. I guess he chose the wrong red ball to come down. That's the reason one of the reds has bounced back into the box. Even if that ball is not portable, it whoever gets that red ball in the box is going to have an advantage of the green to play a better safety. A Chinese snooker is possible on that red. Oh, he's trying to take advantage the green and send the red ball back behind these Chinese just don't let us go do they somewhere or the other they crop up that's why it is Chinese they're everywhere they're trying to capture the market I think so everywhere Sora was decided to go for a pot, I presume. He's missed, and uh, Ishpreet do does have a few options, but they're not easy options by any standard. Sora has been smart enough to take control, keep control of his cue ball. sort of has to maintain his pressure otherwise when this thing becomes king he's unstoppable we're all waiting for ishpreet to sing a different tune right now black looks like he's on the black if he is on the black then I'm pretty sure it'd be a sizable break from him because the balls are reasonably open yes it does take uh, some deft maneuvering um, I'm not too sure he's on the black I mean he seems to be on the black yes That's uh, the first color that Ishpreet has. First color of this frame, actually. nicely played I think he's still on the black snooker viewers is a matter of millimeters a single millimeter here and there and you miss a shot you miss a placement 
lot of precision that is required for you to excel at this game. Lots of hours and hours of practice and toil. Not for nothing do these guys play as well as they do. The two blacks down. gone down to the pink more comfortable cut into the middle pocket and possibly landing on one of these reds which um, along the bunch Aditya, this angle that this uh, pot is in, um, I think it's going to be difficult for him to get a decent placement unless he avoids all the balls in the bunch and goes down to the pink. He might try the gap between the black and the red if it is possible or he's, go he's going to be using check to come above, come near the pink area. Yes, I think you're absolutely right, Aditya. He's used a lot of check side to hold on to the ball on this side of the red, this side of the table. Nicely controlled, I'd say. Oh yes, he's got the black. He isn't going for it, he's going for the pink. The beauty of this game, every time a player is playing around the pink and the black, the, the, the way the balls are placed, they're not the same. They're always different. The player has to think and rethink and, you know, go, go back into his dictionary of shots and come up with various shots so that he can clear the table from here. Absolutely. They're called permutations and combinations. And believe me, you have a million of them on the snooker table. No point of time can you have the same position of colors and reds based around. That was unfortunate. Ishpeed is not happy with that. Yes, he tried a cannon on to the bunch of reds, but it kind of took an edge and went down but he still has a pot it's not a comfortable pot by any standards because uh, after potting uh, controlling the cue ball is not going to be easy he's opting for safety I think you know he went for a beautiful pot down to the box colors Seems to be comfortably on the uh, yellow and the brown. Not too sure whether the green is visible. Oops, yes, that's the blue. Let me get my eyes checked. That was the end of Ishpreet's break. Let's see what Saurabh can do from this position. He missed a pretty straightforward red, I'd say. Back to Ishpreet on the table.
that's an amazing part this is what he did yesterday against lakshman and also in the semi finals brijesh brijesh tried to hold ispreet but this man was unstoppable I think he has this red on the left of the black, onto the right corner, right top corner. He decided to go safe. I don't think the pot was on. So that he is, we didn't want to give. sort of that red next to the green exactly the reason why he wants to save that red because sort of might be able to block his pick in a very bad way was an amazing shot i don't know whether he touched the red he has just about barely kissed the red very beautiful control on the cue ball by sir of kotari is he spread back on the table comfortable red to the right bottom right top sorry spread singh is the diesel engine warming up slowly that was a very difficult pot that he potted right now from the cushion there he goes amazing pot by ishpreet the double is possibly one of the most difficult shots in uh, snooker viewers I don't consider consider the double or shot. I can't play it ever. And that's saying a lot because if Aditya can't play it, it's almost unplayable. Imagine Ishpreet got it pretty easily. I just don't see the angle how these guys manage to see the double. It's pretty obvious that Ishpreet hasn't bunked his geometry classes. For me, a double is a fluke. Like when I played, these guys played as if they've you know mastered the shot now. So Ishpreet actually uh, played an up and down and uh, has left Sora with a, I'd say a. kind of a iffy pot this uh, even if he does pot the red for him to keep control on the uh, cue ball would be not easy and uh, ideally given a choice sora would like to play safe Control the cue ball well, but he is leaving Ishpreet with a fine cut to the left top. Not an easy shot by any standards. Very finely done. And let's see what Ishpreet does. Whether he goes for this, typically, yes, he is going for the pot. But then he's kept. Uh, the insurance of ensuring that the white ball travels very safely it's 
So it's back to defense by both our players. Every sport viewers is a mixture of uh, a very potent mixture of uh, offense and defense, and this is beautifully played by Sorrow. He has a pot, but a very uncomfortable cue. I think uh, he can just about cue properly. Ishpreet is good with these shots. I've seen him knock these balls quite often. Aditya has the privilege of watching him while refereeing a game, so you can't get a better view of a player's uh, prowess. He's gone in for a snooker behind the goal. Yes, an amazing shot. Let's see what how Saurav can get out of this and not sell a ball. I think he has given Ishpreet another opportunity. He's got two balls. One is an acute right angle cut and one is a reverse side. Was the other one? It's very nicely potted. Ishpreet currently is one of the finest close range potters in the country today. Another Interesting snooker behind the brown to make Saurav's life a little more uncomfortable. Saurav actually went in for a uh, high risk shot and I think got away pretty luckily without actually sending a ball. He's got a double. I think he's going for a snooker rather than a double. Oh. He's kept the cue ball close to the cushion and at the same time he went in for a pot. Um, he has left sort of with a red ball uh, possibly to the left corner. Top corner. Sauras so missed, and I think yes, he's pretty lucky that uh, the ball has landed behind the green. Otherwise, it would have been sold. Mahesh Street's going in for this uh, along the rail, I presume. It's an extension. attempt but has left sort of with a sitter that 
had one red between the yellow and the blue. That is a key to this frame. A sort of. Sora went for the dread because he wanted access to both the pink and the black. But uh, it's all about the jaws again, uh, viewers. It's not an easy table to play on. You need to be very precise. Ishpreet's got himself a very comfortable position on the brown. And another red the left corner pocket. Viewers, we've had two drastically different frames. The first frame was all Saurav Khotari. The second frame was all Ishpreet. You can't keep any of these guys down, can you? Ishpreet leading by almost 59 points already. There's two reds on the table. That was an uncharacteristic miss, but uh, sort of conceded this frame and now it's one all. Ishpreet one, sort of one. Things are getting more interesting, viewers. This match is going to be a cat and, cat and mouse chase. Absolutely. Pretty evenly matched till now. Pun intended. Both the players are capable of potting balls and both the players are equally capable of playing good safety. Let's see what the third frame has for the finals. Viewers, uh, the f this game, the sport called the snooker, is one of the most interesting uh, sport available uh, to be played. It's um, it's got so many uh, intricacies and it's got so many combinations. It's got so many complications. It has got complexities. Once a person gets uh, into this sport he finds it very difficult to leave it, irrespective of whatever level he plays it at. I have known of people who played the sport continuously 40 to 50 years and they're still as passionate about it from the day they started. Um, here we are. The third frame. Saurav Kothari has uh, opened the bunch. And again, a very um, nicely played uh, opening shot. Leaving Ishpreet with just one open red, which I think he will play safe by getting the cue ball uh, to the top cushion. Oh, he went for a pot. Amazing. He has the black in the center. Right center. Aditya Singh still seems to be king. He's, he's, he's getting ready getting ready and very unfortunate he thought he would get the cannon on the red but he got the cannon after the pot between the red and the black that's why he didn't get the black he intended to get the black in the right corner pocket let's see if he's going in for a pot 
Oh, he is playing safe. It is um, not an easy pot by any standards because if he misses, he would have actually sold to Saurav. Pink has been displaced and pushed to the right rail. It's kind of unavailable for open potting at this point of time. That was a safety shot went, uh, that, that went slightly amiss, but uh, I don't think he's left, uh, Saurav's left Ishpreet with something. Unless this is a pot to the right top corner. Yes, he has, and he's very comfortably on the black. This is interesting. He did try a shot to the left top corner, but missed, and I think he left uh, Sora with. <coughs> not too sure whether any of those reds can be potted. No, I, I don't think they are available for a pot. Sora is playing safe. Where's the cue ball going? Well played, sort of. Street has also played this very well, and he's got a very plum snooker on the yellow. Beautifully played. Saram needs to play this very carefully and ensure that he doesn't sell the red to Ishpreet. He's got a huge bunch of reds to play into. But again, he needs to figure out where to land the red to ensure that it's safe. That is lucky. Saro's got himself a fluke. He played safe. And uh, the, ball, the red ball rolled in. Saro doesn't have too many comfortable pots from here. It's more uh, a pot come safety or just safety. The black is stuck. The pink is kind of unpotable. the brown, the yellow and the blue available if you want to pot. He's looking at where he should land the white. 
to make Ishpreet's life a little more uncomfortable. idea was good kind of kept the black open to future potting I presume and still got the cue ball safe I don't think he's paid bargain for that. He seems to have sold uh, Apologies, we had a slight technical issue. Now we are back. Tricky situation in terms of uh, even a safety shot for Ishpreet. Again, he's landed himself in the middle of the bunch. And sold quite a few reds. I think if Ishpreet continues doing this, he's going to lose this frame because Saurav also w was in amazing form in the first frame. And it's not going to take much for him to come back to that form to finish the frame in terms of potting. angle that Saurav is spotting is one of the most deceptive angles in snooker. Takes a lot of practice to master.
nicely done. He is on the black. We're just trying to figure out which red and where he needs to place the white after the black. Not an easy shot by any standards. Spotting the black is not a problem. Getting comfortable placing for the next red because he's got a set of reds uh, spread all around the black. Doesn't have that much play for him to maneuver the... Um, this is where experience counts, uh, viewers. Nicely done. He is using his billiards. That's exactly a billiard shot. It's called floating white. He seems to be in control. Yes, as Aditya had mentioned, um, both Ishpreet and uh, Saurav have a billiards background, which is very essential to you know, take you to a different level of snooker. It helps a lot. Billiards player uh, has more control over his cue ball and uh, knows the angles better as compared to just a snooker player. And billiards does help a lot. It's very nicely played. He's got a good break coming up now. He just managed to get that red. As I'd mentioned in my previous commentary stint, luck is a very important factor in a snooker. But luck favors the brave. So it does, so it does. An amazing screw back. He did travel quite a bit of distance on that. That was application of check side in 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 the pull back in the pull back in the screw back shot. That's that made the handball travel further. He did not get the kind of placing that he wanted on the black. That's a kind of a letdown. I expected Saro to actually finish this frame in this uh, visit. Balls are pretty comfortably placed. See, this is what I was uh, referring to. Me and Aditya were referring to gentlemen. Snooker is a matter of millimeters. safe and kept the cue ball on the uh, bottom rail. Once the player enters a zone, sometimes he forgets where he's playing. He, he goes into a shell where he's like practicing in on his home table. Exactly what happened right now. If 
the bounce on the top cushion is more on his home table. He has played the shot to his to, to, uh, to that strength, and that's why he lost the ball, uh, the cue ball on the plank. The straightforward red to the bottom right corner. Again, a matter of jaw. He's kept the um, cue ball tight on <coughs> and kept the bridge very uncomfortable for Ishpreet. Let's see what Ishpreet does with this. Misses it and um, again, it's a it's a cushion ball for Saurabh, not easy queuing and a complicated pot, I'd say, not as easy as it looks. You hardly have any uh, way to queue your uh, cue ball. This is nothing but experience, uh, viewers. Very nicely done. In the black and the blue. Unlucky, I would say. to say where's the cue ball going and pretty obvious inside the pocket so that's pretty careless miss I'd say knowing very well that you have that angle you've got to watch out at your level this enough has got Ishpreet back into the game yes Very, very nicely played by Ishpreet. He's kind of snookered. Uh, yeah, he's left one red relatively open. Half ball, I'd say. Pink is black and back in play. That's actually um, an advantage for Ishpreet. Because he needs all the... Uh, the colors with these two reds. Again, very well played by Ishpreet. Very, very well played by Ishpreet. Though he has left a red, but uh, the ball is on the bottom rail. Cue ball. Saurav seems to have taken a liking to that pink. It's Valentine's Day today. <laughs> How aptly put, Aditya. Again, beautifully be played by uh, Ishpreet. I think this time it's a comprehensive snooker. Saurav, and he has to use the railing. Side rails, side cushions. has opened up one red and Ishpreet's going to grab it with both hands. It's not an easy pot along the rail, along the cushion. And he pots it. So is black ke baad kya is the question. He might have the cannon on the reds. The angle looks to given that advantage. 
depends upon how he plays it. Let's see. Beautifully done. Except that he would not be able to hold for the black, I think. Even if he pots the first ball down to the right corner pocket, he will have to put the ball down. Very nicely played again. Let's see if Vishpeet can actually make a comeback in this frame. Except for the green which is on the bottom rail, um, I find that the colors are relatively open. What's your Aditya? The key shot was black to yellow and Ishpreet has ex exactly played the shot. Oh, he's missed the black. <laughs> we call it the commentator's curse. How he places himself on the yellow would get him the green. That's why he missed the black. And Saurav's not going to be very forgiving on this. Just waiting for such an opportunity. So folks, that's uh, two frames to Saurav and one frame to Ishpreet Singh. Like I said, uh, all the three frames have uh, displayed a very strong uh, potting ability from both uh, players and of course amazing safety. Uh, but it has not been level pegging. I mean, the, the, the difference in scores have been uh, quite drastic. All the three frames have been... Uh, won by wide margins by both players. This tournament has been brought to you by uh, uh, Srinidhi uh, Group of uh, Srinidhi Education Group, sponsored by Srinidhi Education Group and um, hosted by the Three Ball Theory. And uh, the live uh, streaming is done by Converter Live. I'd say Hyderabad is a very, very fortunate. Uh, the snooker aficionados of Hyderabad, Hyderabad has been, have been very, very lucky to be witnessing such quality of uh, snooker. These are among the top uh, 25 to 30 players in the country who are right now who had uh, displayed their skills and we have the top two from the tournament battling it out for the final fourth frame. Ishpreet starts a fourth frame with <coughs> a characteristic break.
very good control executed uh, displayed by Ishpreet Singh. Likewise by Sora. That's uh, very, very lucky. Ishpreet actually got away. He could have sold quite a few reds, not one. But, uh, thanks to a cannon, white goes back into the cushion, in, into the bunch. And this left for Saurav to with, a, with another cannon, a lucky cannon, I'd say. Take the cue ball back again, go up. This is a very, very, very mental game, uh, viewers. You need to be completely present in the now and understand the, the uh, complications and uh, the complexities of the game as you go on. Every frame is different. There are no two similar situations. That's a nice spot. It's comfortably on the black. Spotting the black and getting placement is not easy. He is Mr. Black. Let's see what Saurav does. Does he go for a pot? Uh, three reds onto the center, all in a line. Lal Bhakka line. Beautifully done, and he seems to have got himself a very nicely placed for the blue. In spite of the black being very close to the pocket, you still have that red along the rail, which is a comfortable pot. And that's something that Sora would be looking at, I think. That gives him a, a pretty simple position on this black. So he's got the option of going for this red or the one on the left. Quite easily done. So Aditya, do you think this is going to be a, a frame changing break? This could be a frame-changing break. He got rid of that difficult red on the side cushion first. Now he has to just maneuver around the bunch. And I'm sure he'll be able to make a sizable break from here. I agree, Aditya. Very nicely done, nicely potted ball. He had used a soft touch. It's a beauty of snooker. You have uh, power, you have soft skills, you have uh, a, d a very delicate touch. Sometimes you need some good run through power to get the cue ball back from the balk line. It's, it's a mixture of uh, so many very interesting elements. Never a dull moment.
like my co-commentator Aditya said, I think this is going to be a sizable score that Sora would be amassing. Uh, that's a very, very lucky cannon. Else, if it had passed that red, I would have been a little more uncomfortable. to play it again. The string of reds that are uh, Right now being played by Saurav is needs to be each each red needs to be maneuvered out. Though it looks pretty easy, believe me, viewers, it is not. Playing the red and still getting placing. And this uh, maze of reds that is there in front of Saurav. That's why he's got himself thinking. So Aditya, I have a question for you. How many places do you think you can hit the cue ball to get various effects? Movement of the cue of the cue ball. You have the entire cue ball facing you to hit the shot, and every time you hit the ball at a particular spot on the cue ball, you get a different reaction. But ideally, we we refer the cue ball like we use the wall clock as a guide on the cue ball and that wall clock is just a basic guide you have combinations of various positions in that wall clock which again uh, lead you to believe that you could actually hit the cue ball at about i mean i would say conservatively about 50 different places easily and every time you hit the cue ball at a different place, the effect of uh, the movement of the cue ball is slightly different. Among the youngsters, there is this obsession of pullback or screw back, which is nice, um, provided you don't mess up the cloth, which most of the time happens. I have seen it happening many times. That's again an art. Uh, the top ball, the... the um, Top spin, the run through, the stun follow, the bottom stop, bottom gentle screw back. All these are shots that uh, would take a lot of practice on the table to master. There is also a stun follow. But do we do have a name for the nap cut over here. It's called the Bharat Reddy shot. You missed the black. The name is a canity, I presume. Uh, viewers, uh, Saurav's leading by 55 points uh, versus one point by uh, Ishpreet. Let's see what Ishpreet does about that meager score that he's on right now. This is a nice opportunity for him to come back in the stream. Uh, 
That's bad luck. He played a cannon onto the bunch, but just about sneaked it. Taken an edge and gone down. He's got two very difficult reds on either sides of the table. The left rail and the right rail. Going for it, but uh, ensured that the cue ball is behind the box. It's more or less Nukard, uh, sort of possibly left one ball on the right cushion. I don't think Saurav has a cross double on that red. If he does, he wouldn't be thinking so much. Like I said. Knowing his street, he could try this spot. Mokka ka choka karna zaruri hai abhi. We don't have much of a choice because he's way down in this frame. Well tried Ishpreet, but uh, again a matter of jaw. Or may I say jaws. lot of check side for the white to go there. Tremendous amount of check side and I think he's played very well. Sort of. <laughs> Ishpreet uh, has left her sort of with a pot and a cannon. He has a gap where he can maneuver the uh, right through. He has lift his speed with half a chance, I'd say. If it's a middle pocket, it's a very fine cut, and if it's the um, top pocket, again, not an easy pot. Nice try. But relatively safe for sort of. What you can do is possibly. Um, Play a safety shot and take the white back behind the box again. Viewers, you must understand that this is a final of a very prestigious tournament. And the pressure on both the players would be immense. And that plays a very major role in how you handle the pressure at this level.
it looks like it's 3-1 in favor of Sorov. If played correctly, the red is always on, if stuck to the cushion. It's just a matter of technique. There you go, sort of. Having a 3-1 lead in the first session means a lot. Gives him, gives, gives sort of some kind of comfort. But not to take the credit away from Ispreet. There could be a comeback any moment. We need this tournament that is happening in Hyderabad, Telangana, in Three Ball Theory Academy. Game score 3 1, sort of leading. At this point, Ispreet definitely needs the next frame to maintain minimum gap between frame scores. Asking all our viewers, who do you think is going to win the finals? Ispreet or Saurav? That's what she said. Gaps are important. was an attempt to get in, uh, get into the pack but very difficult shot to play that's a tremendous recovery double
sort of window thing on. Ishbrief can control this red pot or either of the colors. Okay, he's got lucky. These luck lucky nudges, these cannons make so much difference. Again, I, I call it the run of the ball. And sometimes players who are trailing need it and the players who are leading when they have it, they capitalize it. I felt he's gonna miss the pot. It seemed that he was slightly off. Sometimes players make minor adjustments on the shot while they are playing the shot. The right technique would be getting up and uh, readdressing the shot, getting back into the shot right from start. It helps them realign properly. Probably he wouldn't have missed that shot. He did some minor adjustments when he was bending for the shot. Nitish, we will announce the next tournament very soon. Since this is the ninth event in the past two months, we are sure we'll be coming up with more. Very awkward situation to play the pot, like a very awkward position. That's that's the dis discomfort of playing the shot. You're stretching over <coughs> the length of the table. You're trying to not make a foul. Nitesh, you can follow Convertal live or you can follow three, uh, 3 Ball Theory page on Facebook. You shall get all the updates over there. All the announcements for the next events, camps. That was a terrible miscue. There was some kind of application of check side on the shot. That's the only reason why the handball traveled the other way. <coughs> and that has made sort of keep the handball on the right side of the blue. Will he go for the open reds or he's going to go, go into the pack? Going for the open reds.
my coach my coach sanjay savant has maintained has always taught me wait for the chance you know we have the chance to get into the pack but wait for the right moment and this is what exactly saurav is doing constructing the break waiting for the right moment that's my friend wasim ahmed from chennai i hope you're doing well wasim it is the pressure of the final intiaz but you can see sort of now he is he's attacking he is playing the positive game and this is something that we all want to see all the time that's exactly what i was talking about wait for the right moment he has reduced the size of the pack that one can and now he will be able to release a few reds more Sorov is not happy with the black the uh, the white position for the black patience is virtues that's what she said just back from a break so viewers uh, this seems to be a more level pegging frame there are no um clear favorites as of now it depends upon how the frame progresses from this point onwards seems to be an reasonably open frame except for the bunch of balls uh, gathered around the pink also make safety that much more difficult I think Saurav has uh, left uh, Ishpreet with uh, quite a few opportunities to take a red and a black. Black is very comfortably placed, very close to the pocket. So that's not rocket science, but he needs to get a red in first. Again, we was jaws.
that's a beautiful part by Saurav. He's placed himself very comfortably with the black. Uh, could have been played better. But he hasn't travelled far enough with the white. Good recovery, but again, a cushion ball. Slightly uncomfortable black. <coughs> Reds are, of course, beautifully spread. Goes down, he has many options on the reds. Well played, sort of. Folks, as I was mentioning before, this tournament has been uh, championed by uh, Converter Live and Three Ball Theory. Both of whom are very, very keen on getting top quality snooker to the Twin Cities and ensuring that players who have the requisite talent are encouraged and uh, coached level that is required for them to improve. By the looks of it, uh, it seems to be all sort of Kothari as far as this frame is concerned. So the balls are relatively easily placed for him to maneuver and uh, relatively finish the frame, if you'd ask me. Sarva is already on 51. Oops. That was a very, very bad miss by Saurav. He's actually given uh, Ishpreet a peek into this frame. So Aditya, just a minute back, I was uh, telling our viewers that it was sort of Kothari all the way and there was a bad miss on the black. And he's giving Ishpreet a very good chance to close out this frame. Those two reds beside the yellow are what are crucial to this frame. Do you agree, Aditya? Yeah, I do agree. That was a nasty miss by Saurav. And this should be a clearance looking at Ishpeet's capacity.
folks the commentator's curse again works i think and believe me we have no such intentions of cursing anybody it's just that whenever we say that there is a possibility of a f- frame clearance the player seems to miss a shot makes life a lot more interesting for the viewers so right now it's uh, saro kotari at 51 and uh, ishpreet singh at 50 uh, 28 this is the fifth frame saro is leading by 3 frames to 1 if he takes this that will take him to 4 1 And folks, this is the best of 11 final. So whoever reaches six first is obviously the winner. Nice. Not what Saurav had in mind in terms of placement on the green. Obviously, going in for a snooker behind the blue and the black. No, no, he's decided to play safe. Imtiaz, when you see the professionals play, you have to see the selection of shots they are uh, going through. You know, the entire break or their visit. and if you follow the if you follow their selection of shots you might be able to learn faster and apply the same you know when you are practicing is we try to snooker and sort of can just manage to see the green yeah there he is this frame was important for ishpreet and now he has to give snookers to get in back get get back into the game and try to snatch the frame it was a difficult green tried by sorrow but uh, let's see what his speed does about this he pots the green and he wants to go down to the brown so that he has an option of snooking Bad luck on that. If he had can in the blue, there was a chance of a snooker. He needs to bunch entirely. Thirty-one sixty viewers. Not an easy frame to win for Ishpreet, considering that there are there's only twenty-two points on table. we go it's uh, curtains as far as this frame is concerned for ishpreet So that's a wrap up as far as the fifth frame is concerned. Saurav Kothari, 82 to 31, he is four frames up versus Ishpreet, just one frame.
Folks, we are taking a break now. This is the end of session one. Uh, please watch out for live updates. Uh, we will be back very soon with the um, second uh, set of um, frames which will wrap up this particular final. Keep tuning in. Take care and happy Sunday. Folks, we will be back at 4 o'clock with the second session of this final. Thank you.